to create a new form in Bruising Forms. Um, first of all, we go to the Components and Bruising Forms section. And you'll be prompted with a screen like this. Just go to Manage Forms. And from the package, choose Quick Forms, Quick Mode Forms, and click New. From that point, you can name your form. You can have spaces in the title, but you can't have any spaces in the name. So use underscores instead. You don't need a description. Um, if you choose to have two pages in the side, bruising forms, and the second page can be the thank you page, and uh, turn your mail notification on and put an email address of where it's going to go to. You don't need to worry about anything else in there. Once you've done that, click uh, Save Properties. And as you're going along, even though you're clicking Save Properties, make sure you click Save up here as well to make sure you're saving the whole form, not just the, uh, the elements themselves. So from there, we click New Page and click there on the form itself and click New Page again. So page two will be the Thank You page. So I'll quickly just put some text in there now. Just scroll down and click Save there. Again, Save Properties and Save up here as well. Okay, so now we can build the form elements. So we click page one and we can click uh, New Section. That can uh, allow you to put personal details and uh, as one section. So we just put um, personal details. Again, you can uh, name your sections the same as your title if you wish. Um, the wrap um, after each element just means that you'll have the, as an example, name first, uh, last name second. If you put all in a row, it will put them side by side. We'll just click Save Properties on that. And again, save there. Now it's time to add some actual fields. So you need to put your cursor where you actually want the field to be put inside of. So we want to put uh, a first name, a phone number, and an email address. So we'll click on personal details, we'll put new element. Uh, the type will be a text field for our name. Copy and paste that. And we want this to be a required field, so we click the required button and a validation, because we want them to actually make sure that there's something in there. So we make sure that we put here, scroll up, that's fine. can see uh, valid not empty and put um, please enter your name save that you can see there appears there I'll click save next thing we'll do is add a, uh, a phone number so again type oops uh, sorry a new element so we click on the, uh, the section and click New Element. Uh, the text field type is fine for that. There are other options that you can do checkboxes and, and uh, hidden fields, um, file uploads and all sorts of things, and recapture as well for, to make your, your form more secure. You can even do PayPal buttons if you wish in calendars. Um, in this instance, it should be a phone number, so put phone. It's fine, required. And save. And the last one that we'll add is the email. And this is a different validation for the email because it needs a valid email address. So again, we'll go to here, we'll click New Element. This time we would choose a text field again. And put email. And in our validation, we will choose. Uh, in the bottom valid email please enter email and click save click 
same up here as well. Um, in the once you've actually clicked the SOS form or the, the form title and you can click the advanced tab, you can uh, choose a different theme for how it might look if you wish. You can choose producing forms back here and there's other themes to choose from. Um, you can also go into the options of the form and send the form to the admin. So at the moment it's going to go to that email address. Um, we want to report all values and if there was an attachment we could say yes we want to have that uh, as an attachment um, sent to the email as well. You can also have a reply to email, you can have the alternative from name, the customer, uh, customer email subject, so form from my website as an example, uh, alternative from name. Um, we are going to do something else. We're going to actually make sure that the actual email that they're sending it from is going to come in the subject line. So I'll just click that save there for a second. And on the form itself, we'll go back into the form and we'll select on the email address. And in the advanced tab, we can select um, mail back as sender. So that way, that uh, when it goes to the admin, it knows that that's the actual email address you're coming from. And click Save Properties there. And there you go. That's how to create a form in Bruising Forms.